talking about the all new all different Marvel line they've just put out like 50 new friggin books all new number ones and these are my top three super favorites and these are comics that anyone can get into okay these even me even you these comics they have all three of them uh, they seem to have a beginning middle and end situation happening you can tell trust me just trust me on this one because some comics go fucking nowhere all so right this is a good story. and so this is a good story. We're gonna be talking about the vision. Uh, oh my God, a friend of mine told me to, I was having lunch and he was like, you gotta read the vision. And I went out and I bought it and I was like, holy shit, you're totally right. Uh, this book is totally knocking my socks off. It's written by Tom King and has art by Gabriel Hernandez Walta. It's up to issue number four right now. And the whole thing about the vision is you've met him in Avengers 2. Uh, he's really exciting. He's an awesome, sexy character. And the thing is about the Vision is that he's considered a synthesoid. Okay, that's his official kind of title as a person or whatever. He's not a human. He's a synthesoid. He's not an android. He's a synthesoid. And the thing is, is he's kind of weird. All right, that's the whole deal with the Vision. All right, he's a little weird and he freaks people out a little bit. And so because of that, I think he's aware of that. And he's decided in this comic book series that he finally wants to try to be normal. So what does the Vision do when he wants to be normal? Well, he's created for himself an entire synthesoid family, including a wife named Virginia and a son and a daughter named Vin and Viv. They have some teenage kids uh, and they have moved to the suburbs. So this movie is very much like superheroes mixed with American beauty. It has a lot of really dark, weird humor in it that I just absolutely love. It's talking about like what normal is and society and like all these wonderful things. Let's get into it. Uh, there goes the neighborhood. The visions have moved in. Obviously they're bumming everyone out around them. Everyone is weirded out. It is not cool. And I would have to say that my favorite parts of this comic book are the parts where they're talking about like normal things, but like doing it through the visions. For example, you have, you know, a husband and a wife. You have Vision and his synthetic created wife, Virginia, and they do get in fights, but they do have these like really ultra logical fights going back and forth that are just hilarious to listen to. Even though they are so different and they are so weird, they still deal with the same stupid problems that all of us deal with. Uh, you have the visions dealing with haters who are spray painting on their like driveway door and stuff saying like, go home socket lovers. Uh, I also enjoy watching Vision playing football with his kids in the yard. And uh, also the wife, Virginia, may be hiding a murder from her husband because she knows that he wants to be super normal. And uh, obviously there's some shenanigans that are going down. And it's like, ugh. The Vision is like telling his wife, like after they're gone, like how to talk about people. It's like, man, if I were Virginia, I would be super bummed. And you know what? Guess what? She is super bummed. You can read all about it in The Vision. So join me next time on Best Comics, where we'll be talking about my two other favorite comics. We have Doctor Strange and all new Wolverine. <laughs>